Hi everyone, Leo is here with another Jumps to Lightning episode and I have my friend with me, Justin, to talk to me about Azure Arc enabled servers and group policy. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, Leo is here with another Jumps to Lightning episode and today I have Justin with me. Justin, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing awesome. Uh, I was looking forward to talk to you about Azure Arc enabled servers and group policy. This is a topic that you know, I'm a bit stranger to this topic, you know, kind of funny, but but I am. But before we're diving deep here into the into the topic, Justin, who you are, what is it that you do? Hi, I'm Justin. I'm a software engineer at Microsoft working on the Arc for Service team. I do a lot of work on the agent itself that users install in the computers, as well as some service side of things as well. Justin, I've been in this space of Azure Arc for a while now. Um, and uh, Azure Arc enabled servers was something that uh, you know, I started with that was the first thing that we came up with, um, and the at scale onboarding was also something that I was always looking at, because just doing one server one time after another, uh, you know, it's tedious. That's not <laughs> how we do things in production. And throughout, you know, throughout the years, we came up with new methods on how to do at scale onboarding. Right? We started with the custom script, then we evolved to Ansible, and now we have group policy. And today, I wanted to have this conversation with you about at scale onboarding with group policy. So talk to me about that for a second around the motivation and what led through what we're gonna see here today. Right, so normally when you just onboard one machine, you just type in AZCM agent connect, but you can imagine that if you wanna onboard hundreds or even thousands of machines that, like you mentioned, it's very tedious. Yeah. Um, so we had other options before like PowerShell remoting and configuration manager, but a lot of our customers and users they are very familiar with root policy and Active Directory. So it just seemed natural for us to develop a solution to address those needs. Um, so what we did was we developed a PowerShell module that helped users set up mass onboarding via group policy. Justin, you know, the last time that I looked at group policy was probably, I want to say 15 years ago when I was still, uh, you know, in the trenches of IT. And the last <laughs> command that I remember uh, is uh, GP update slash force. Uh, which I think that you're going to show me today as well. So it's awesome to take me back down to memory lane, uh, memory lane where it all started for me. So, um, and I know that you have a short and sweet demo to show me today. So let's just dive in and see what what this is all about. For sure. Okay. So um, here I have the Azure Arc for Service Blade on the Azure portal, mm -hmm. um, and let's add a machine or multiple machines. So once you click on add servers with Azure Arc, you're gonna have multiple options. And since we wanna do multiple servers via GPO, we're gonna click here. And what it's gonna prompt you to do is ask you uh, some details about what subscription, resource group, and region you want to onboard mm -hmm. your machine to. So I'm gonna select a test subscription that we have. Mm -hmm. and then my GPO test resource group. And let's just onboard it to ECUS. Make sure you select Windows because group policy is only available on Windows. Sure. And here you have to um, choose a service principle to onboard. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. choose one that I've set up earlier. You can also set optional tags, but let's skip that for now. Mm -hmm. And here we have our multiple deployment method that we offer for adding multiple service with Arc. And let's select group policy. And it's going to walk you through the many steps that you have to do to set up this onboarding experience. Mm -hmm. And namely, it's just setting up a remote share on your domain controller with our installer file for Windows, and then also installing our script module in Power, uh, PowerShell. So basically, That's Justin, everything, basically everything that you need in order to take this file and infuse that into your domain controller so you can start blasting this via GPO, right? Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. OK. So, a couple of other details we need are your domain name. So mine is justchendomain.com for the purpose of today's demo. Mm -hmm. Your FQDN of your uh, your domain controller. So for me, that's 80 VM, and you need a fully qualified domain name. And also mm -hmm. the uh, name of your remote share. Um, there's a current UI bug regarding this error message, but you can ignore it and just copy this and enter it in your domain controller. 
Okay, I love that we're coming to the you know to the Johnson Lightning show, and you know, yeah, sure, you know, bugs are part of part of the part of the drill. Um, but yeah, I'm happy that you called it, calling this out. For sure. Uh, so let's talk about my setup for this demo. I have two machines on the same domain. As previously mm -hmm. mentioned, it's justchendomain.com. So I have a domain controller, ADVM, mm -hmm. and you can see that it is on this domain. Similarly, I have a, a target machine that on an onboard AZ semi agent on, which is called JustChen. And similarly, you can see that it's also on this domain. So okay. like the instructions mentioned, you need to pre prepare a remote share. Mine is called arc onboard shared. And you need to install the MSI file, the installer file into that remote share. And this is so that the when the scheduled task in the GPO is run, that the target machines have a centralized location to fetch the installer file from. Mm -hmm. So okay. what we need to do to start this process is that we need to run this deploy script that you copied from the previous uh, experience down here. I need to run it and it'll create a GPO, a group policy object. All right. I like the fact that we're generating the entire command to just kind of, hey, this is the command that you need to use. Here's the PowerShell, uh, the PowerShell model, sorry, the PowerShell script or the command and just go from there. Sorry. Okay, so what yeah. it does right now is basically created the that created the GPO object, correct? Right. But what you need to do now is you need to assign it to the organizational unit that you want the group policy object to apply it. Okay. So let me expand this. Right now I have a, a, a OU or organizational unit called test machines. So let's look at what's inside of it. You can see that inside test machines, I have one machine, which is just Chen, which is the target machine that we want to onboard Arc in. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is expand this folder and you'll see the GPO that our script has created. Mm. Okay. And you want to link it to your OU by right-clicking on your test machines, which is my OU, and then click on link in existing GPO and click on the GPO that was just generated. All right. And let's refresh our domain to make sure everything's updated. And let's go to our target machine. So normally what happens with group policy is that it is, on the target machines, it'll update its policy every 90 minutes with a 30 minute random offset. Yeah. So you can guarantee that the policy will make it to your computer within 90 to 120 minutes. So for the purpose of this demo, we don't want to wait that long. So you can yeah. run GP update slash force. There it is. GP update <laughs> slash force. Yeah. This is really taking me down down memory. This is really <laughs> taking me down memory lane here. Uh, when I'm seeing GPU update slash force, it's been a while, old friend. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so it completes successfully, and we just have to wait a little bit for uh, the scheduled task to run the installer and to onboard AZCM agent. In the meantime, I can show you where the script will do a logging. So while the install installation is happening and the onboarding is happening, mm -hmm. so I'll output logs to see slash temp. And if we look at onboarding, it'll say that connection is successful. Hmm. So, quick. yeah. So let's look at, um, let's open a new PowerShell window and run AZ SEM agent. Show. And you can see that we have the resource onboarded. That's cool. And let's go to our blade and refresh. And you can see that nice. our new server in that domain has been onboarded successfully to Azure Arc. That was super clean. That was uh, very impressive. I mean, I'm saying this because, uh, you know, Justin, I've been in the trenches of Azure Arc enabled servers, um, mm -hmm. seeing this coming from all the way from almost the beginning and where we're at right now and seeing this experience with, you know, just a single group policy, a single partial command. Sure, we cheated a bit with GP updates that slash force, <laughs> um, and then see that in action. So I appreciate that short and sweet demo. Well, Justin, you know I uh, I like when we have these type of episodes when there is a topic and on point demo, which is what uh, which is what you just showed me. So I definitely appreciate that. Jumpstart viewers, thank you so much for watching. Watching, 
Uh, like and subscribe because why not? You see all the cool content that we're coming up with. So make sure to do that. So you'll get notified on future episodes. And Justin, I wanted to say thank you for uh, for joining me here today, my friend. Thanks for having me. And for the Jumpstart viewers, we're going to see you next time.